Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Random Bullshit. And on this episode of Random Bullshit, we're going to talk about Trump's tax cuts. His famous tax plan that uh, took effect for the 1% in 2017, but it's 2019 and it's supposed to kick in for people like us, but it hasn't. So now that the government's back open, people has been filing their tax returns. You better get those tax returns done by the uh, 15th. Because if the government shut down, you ain't got them taxes in by February 15th. Ain't no telling when you're going to get them back. So, so Trump supporters are starting to file their taxes. And they're noticing that they're not getting the tax break. See, when the when that Trump tax plan was passed to one percent, the top wealthy, they tax plan kicked in immediately, and they didn't lose any deductions or anything. So they got all their bells and whistles, everything, all at one time, kicked in immediately. Us peasants had to wait till 2019. Then it was gonna be huge. You was gonna be able to file your taxes. Gonna get that. Refund, you start looking at your checks in, in that January of 2019, seeing that tax break on that paycheck stub. No, not there. And so now they're starting to go err uh, their grievances out towards Republicans and on Donald Trump's Twitter page. And I think it's funny, even though I know I'm going to get fucked when I file my taxes too. But uh, I just. Uh, I found this story in Raw Story, and it was and it was talking about it. It reads: uh, Multiple supporters of Donald Trump over the past couple of weeks have taken to Twitter to air their grievances about the president's signature tax cut plan. Even though the 2017 GOP tax cut is leading to spiking federal deficits thanks to its generous benefits to corporations. Many middle class Americans are winding up having to pay more because the bill eliminated multiple deductions used by the middle class families to lower their annual tax payments. And see, that's what they did. So in order for them to give the tax cuts to the wealthy, all they stuff all bundled up with bows and all this stuff, they had to take away things. From the middle class that they used to get money back to cover what they gave the most wealthiest people. So you see, because they can't take from the bottom because they don't they don't really pay in. There's no money to take from them. So it's only that and people stuck right there in the middle. And they just squeeze them and squeeze them and squeeze them. Among other things, the tax bill uh, cap deductions for taxes paid to state and local governments while massively increasing the amount of money you must donate to qualify for a charitable giving donation. Several Trump voters have done their taxes are not happy about this and they're letting both the president and the Republican hear it. And I'm gonna read some of the uh, I'm gonna read some of the tweets because I think some of them is like funny. Like this dude here's one. He, and they tweeted uh, at uh, Representative Don Bacon. I just finished my taxes and we were paying an extra 4K this year since the exemptions are gone with a high D AC plan. This has not been a good year. I voted for you twice. What's the plan? I'm just going to tell this dude right now, This this uh, the person that wrote this tweet, they ain't got no plan for you, buddy. It's, you're going to pay more, period. Shut the fuck up. You know. That's why some why sometimes you gotta vet the people you vote for, and you just gotta wake up, man. The Republican Party don't work, ain't working on your behalf. And then this person vote uh, tweeted that real Donald Trump. I voted for you and believed in the things you are doing, but you screwed us middle classes with the tax. I can't itemize anything. How about a flax tax? And get rid of earn income credit. Some don't earn income but get money back in taxes for having babies. Now, I do. I have noticed myself that some motherfuckers be getting a shitload of taxes back and, and ain't probably work two months out of the whole fucking year. 
and they got a shitload of kids. So, I don't know. I voted for you the first time, but after you screw me on my get tax break, I won't vote for you again, especially after I started on my 2018 return. It's a joke. The taxes you are keeping from a working person. Good luck in 2020. Man, that person don't know how to write. But, yeah, his supporters are pissed and I don't fucking blame them. You know, uh, that whole tax thing was a scam right from the beginning and they do this stuff all the time. And, folks, if you're thinking about not voting for Trump in 2020 because he screwed you on the taxes, you gotta remember, when Obama took office, and he had majority in the House and in the uh, Senate of uh, Democrats. They made the Bush tax cuts permanently. So it ain't going to change. <clears throat> it's not going to change at all. Just wanted to throw that out there before you just blindly go vote for a Democrat. You know. So I just wanted to, to throw that out there. You know. Republicans pass these tax plans. The Democrats, the Democrats make them permanently. That's how the game been going. So, if you like the content, feel free to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Want to thank all the new subscribers, all the ones that's been here from the beginning, and uh, don't forget, all live streams will be on Random BS YouTube channel. I leave the link. In the description below. Also, if you want to be a contributor to Dimebag TV, the links will be in below. Peace and I'm out.